believe in the gospel? Do you believe in the gospel? You're fist bumping me, but do you believe in Jesus? I, I do. You do? Did Jesus leave you out? Did, did the Holy Spirit lead you out here? No, he didn't, but just bad choices. Bad choices. So you want to know why you know it's a bad choice? Because of conviction. So, so the Holy Spirit is convicting you. And I want to tell you that you can repent now. You could go home. And you can receive God's forgiveness. But are you ready to make that choice? Because God loves you and you might know the gospel. But the word of God says faith without works is dead. So you must put your faith into action. If you're saying you're a Christian, that means go home. Are you ready to make that choice? I think I'm ready. I'm not. You know. You're not? What if you want to die in your sin? I try. I try. But like, it's, it's like this. Hold up, hold up. Come on, come on. What do you have to say? I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Um, it's like, you try, but you don't at the same time. You don't just see it. Um, you try, but at the same time, it's going to be you. Um, yeah, the devil, he, he's pulling you. Yeah, but, no, but, this, this is the enjoyment. This is the enjoyment. So, to pull against, it's, it's hard because it, the, changes, the temptation is there. Right. And you want to know what the Word of God says? It says that there's a way that seems right to man, but it leads to death. This is going to lead to death and destruction for your soul. The reason why they call alcohol spirits is because you're ingesting spirits and you're entering the spiritual realm through alcohol, through the medium of alcohol. That's why there's a bartender, which is actually a, a, a psychic, and they're poisoning your soul. And it's opening you up to the spiritual realm. That's why many people, when they're drunk, they, they, they curse out the preacher, they mock the preacher, because they're in a sober mind. The word of God says in 1 Peter 5, 8, be sober-minded, be vigilant, because you're adverse to the devil. He prowls around like a one lion seeking whom you may devour. Jesus Christ, I love you, God. You love him. Jesus said, if you love me, then you must obey me. But I want to tell you, for those that know Jesus, today's a day to go home. Many people in, in Texas, you say you're a Christian. Here, get this, because many of you here, you probably go. God says in Acts chapter 16, verses 30 and 31, and brought them out and said, notice this question, sirs, what must I do to be saved? How plain of a question, how simple and straightforward of a question. What must I do to be saved? Here's the answer. And they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved and thy house. How simple of an answer. How profound and powerful of an answer. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. What must I do to be saved? What must I do to receive eternal life? What must I do in response to what Jesus Christ did for me in order to go to heaven? Here's the answer, friend. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved and thy house. No mention of water baptism. No mention of church attendance, good works, self-reformation, or turning from all of your sins. No, the sole condition for salvation is faith in Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That is salvation by grace alone, through faith alone, in Jesus Christ alone. Romans chapter 1 verse 16, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God, notice this, unto what? Salvation to everyone that is baptized in water. Nope. To everyone that does the right thing. To everyone that repents of all their sins. To everyone that goes to church, keeps the law, obeys the commandments. No. Let's let the Bible speak for itself. To everyone that believeth. Salvation by grace through what? Faith alone. The gospel of Christ, the gospel of Jesus Christ, it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. Not to everyone that believeth and is baptized in water. Not to everyone that believeth and does the right thing. Not to everyone that believeth and repents of all their sins. No, we are saved by grace alone, through faith alone, in Jesus Christ alone. I am not ashamed of that. People can ridicule that and mock that all they want, but the gospel of Christ, it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth.